All right, this is just a quick video uh, to show you a repair that I did. I ordered some boards and the chip that was supposed to go on this shunt location, they sent it with the wrong IC installed. So I've removed the IC already. I had to order some new ones from Mauser and now I'm installing them. So this is in real time not sped up or anything like that. It's just me making one of the repairs. I had 15 of these to do. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just fluxing it a little bit with some paste flux, getting ready to uh, put a little solder on there. So when I uh, took this, the original ICs off, the, there was a, you know, it took off most of the solder. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of solder right here just to make sure that it's on there. I could have used you know like a paste solder uh, but I just for quick repairs I find that this is works just as well. I'm trying not to put too much on there but of course I put too much on there. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more flux just to make sure everything flows the right way and then I'll take my soldering iron which I've, I haven't set on 400 C and I'll just uh, quickly swipe it off. Um, and I'm trying to look at the microscope that I'm filming with and uh, look at the board at the same time so things are a little little wiggly uh, trying to get it done but anyway because there's a lot of flux on there it just swipes off really easily all right, so now we got some nice clean uh, uh, solder pads uh, prepped and ready to go. I'm going to just add a tiny bit of more, more flux. You know, um, I'm getting in the way of the microscope, but it, it's hard to do this all, all at the same time. All right, so here is the new IC that I'm going to drop on there. And I think these are like a half millimeter pitch. Maybe they're one millimeter pitch. All right. They're they're pretty small. I think that pulse transformer is a uh, one millimeter pitch. But anyway, oh, I, I can't get it turned over. I've got a little bit of looks like I've got a little bit of flux on my tweezers, so they're sticking. All right, fourth fourth times the charm. And then I got to get it lined up get the uh, number one pin in the right place and then uh, this is elevated on the microscope so I don't have anything to rest my hands on so pretty pretty tedious right here alright so that's just in place um, oh and I didn't I might not have mentioned the aluminum there is just a heat shield to go over those connectors because the hot air will burn them a little bit if you don't put the heat shield over it. Alright so now I'm getting the hot air gun out. Yeah, there's the, the tip of it there. It's about a quarter inch tip and I just start way back because you can see it will blow it around if you're if you're not careful. So I have the air setting way down and I think I have the I think I had it set on about 420 or something like that um, as far as temperature, but the air flow is way, way down. You see that it's moving itself around, um, but we can adjust it. Uh, if, you, if you do it right, you don't blow it around. See how it just pulled it into place, but I'm, now I'm one pin off. Uh, so if you do it right, you get it in there, then it'll just pull itself right into place. But I'm just going to heat it up a little bit, bump it into place, and then, and then the solder will, will pull itself down. Sorry, I'm in the way. It's kind of hard to do this with the microscope. So it's a tiny bit off center, I think. Okay, there's the solder set up. It looks like we all we got good, uh, good joints on everything. And that's... Yep, now I'm just taking that heat sink off and I'm going to do a quick test uh, to probe. So I'm touching where the connection should go and then I'm touching the top of the IC pin, not the solder because the solder is going to be connected, but I'm trying to touch the top of the IC pin and I'm just listening for the beat just to make sure that the IC is connected. 
So I'm just going to run through all the pins and check where where I know they should be connected. I mean, this is tiny, tiny stuff. These are like those pinpoint probe things. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Those two are connected together, and that one shouldn't be connected to anything. So I'm just testing that. And same with that, shouldn't shouldn't be connected. All right, that's it. takes takes uh, you know about five minutes to to run through a board. I try not to do this, but that's just the way it works out sometimes.